disgusting to see our children be in that position. We wonder what they went through every single day. I mean, how are they fed? How are they cared for? You know, if they were fed. Tonight, a call for tougher laws to protect children from illegal daycare centers like you just saw. Good evening, I'm Lori Tucker. And I'm Bo Williams. The action stems from the discovery of more than 30 kids, infants to toddlers, found inside a daycare center in Morristown last July. We told you about this last year, but newly released body cam video and messages from parents now showing the scope of what was found in July. In our top story at 5, WAT6 on your side investigator, Don Dare says nearly two dozen kids were kept in a single car garage. Don. At Bo, it's the conditions inside the garage that outraged mothers whose kids were at the center. It's taken investigators more than half a year to report that no criminal charges will be filed against the unlicensed Morristown daycare owner. She runs the operation from her house. At the conclusion of its lengthy probe, body cam video was released to the public by the Hamley County Sheriff's Office. Okay. When state investigators and sheriff's deputies went into the basement of a Morristown home last July, it was filled with infants and toddlers, far more than the state allows for an in-home daycare center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. There's nine of you. Hi. Hamlin County deputies and children's services investigators responded last summer to an allegation of an illegal daycare facility and an unlicensed operator. When we arrived, the owner said that there was only six kids here today, counting her own two. She's very hesitant about letting us walk through the house, and we said, well, we have to, you know, walk through and make sure there's no other kids. I have never, 16 years doing this job, have I ever saw anything like this. Eight, nine. Twice, deputies had to count the number of children crammed into a single car garage with a small air conditioner unit. It's sickening. Six women whose infants and toddlers were in the house wanted to talk with us after learning no charges would be filed. When they saw the body cam for the first time a month ago, the conditions alarmed them. 23 inside of that one car garage, yes. From the ages of four months old to four year olds. There were nonverbal children, special needs children. But that's not all. Another dozen children were found in other areas of the house. She actually had 36 total that day. She had a total of 36. 23 of those were toddlers and babies locked in the one car garage. The daycare owner, April Barnard, told deputies that she and her mother had control of the children. I was trying to take them outside since yeah. we're locked. You take 35 kids outside, just you and your mom? How can you do that with all these little ones? The moms told us they had never been in the basement of the house. They were only allowed upstairs. She also told me that the basement was under renovation. She was making a classroom for the kids. Um, and so we did not tour the downstairs. So you're literally here with them all day? This many? No, upstairs. You're with them upstairs all day? So what are they doing down here, though? It makes me sick to my stomach to see that the conditions these kids were left in. In this permanent injunction filed in August, daycare owner April Barnard admitted to no wrongdoing, but agreed to stop watching more than four unrelated children without a license and agreed to never interfere with any inspection by DHS. And it's like she got a slap on the hand, don't do this again, and they never blocked her from being able to keep children. We looked at the allegations we made a determination based on the facts and the law that there was no criminal action to be brought district attorney dan armstrong told us while conditions inside the center were not good they did not rise to criminal action against the daycare owner under the criminal law in order to prove a criminal charge of child neglect we had to prove actual harm and DCS actually made an act, a finding in their investigation that there was no actual harm. No one answered the door at the daycare when we tried to interview April Barnard. Our main focus is to get awareness out there for what has happened to our children. We want to get the laws changed in the state. Something has to be done to prevent this from ever happening again. Now, State Representative Rick 
Eldridge from Morristown told me just hours ago that he plans to introduce legislation in Nashville, an amendment to the current law that would add a penalty to unauthorized daycare operators who had more kids in their home than allowed by law. In other words, he wants to strengthen the rules and add words like neglect and endangerment that could possibly lead to a felony charge. Also, a memo we received says DHS investigators visited the other day on Friday and found no violations. We'll continue to follow this story. Well, my goodness, Don, thank Ooh, you. Yes. Uh, now, if you suspect an illegal child care operation, you can report it by calling the Child Care Complaint Hotline at this number. It's 1 800 462 8261. You can also email childcareservices.dhs at tn.gov. And if you have a question for Don, remember, or something else you want him to look into, you can always contact him by emailing ddare at wat.com, or you can always call a six on your side hotline. Phone number right there on your screen, 865-633-5974.